Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Played Up Automation tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about broccoli. And broccoli is a side, of course. Broccoli is also used in um, stir fry, but uh, we're not talking about broccoli for stir fry. We're talking about broccoli as a side. Now, broccoli, I do believe, has five portions to it. So automating broccoli might actually be worth it. I also have a video up on mashed potatoes, which you may argue and say, well, mashed potatoes is 20 servings. That's a lot of servings. I don't think I'll go through that in one day. Well, if you have individual dining and you have, say, 80 customers by OT4 or 5, depending on the cards you get, you may need that. <laughs> now, broccoli is a different story because broccoli has so few portions. The issue with it is that you have to constantly have broccoli going because five portions is not a lot. Like beans or soup, you're constantly making it. So having some sort of automation set up like this will be quite helpful. So you have your pot stack over here. Now this is not fully, fully automated, like 100%, but I will show you after the first segment how to do fully automated, which is pretty straightforward. Basically you have your combiner facing into your sink, which, which is the water trick, I guess you will. That basically when something interacts with the sink, the combiner automatically puts water onto it. It's just how the mechanic works. That's gonna come on a grabber, regular grabber, could be a smart grabber. These, in, in the description here, they all could be smart grabbers if you really wanted to, but the normal grabbers um, would be fine, except uh, one case, which I will show you at the end of, of the set where you would need one smart grabber. So your combiner is gonna combine the broccoli onto the hob. The hob is gonna pull this out. And let's see, you will need a counter. Actually, you know what? You could okay. You, you okay? I'll, I'll start over. You don't. You wouldn't need a counter for this. You could do this two ways. I'm going to show you the one way that I would probably do it is you'd have your pot here, and you'd have your portioner here, and here's where you're going to need your smart grabber. And the smart grabber is only going to be grabbing empty pots. It's not going to be grabbing pots with anything else in it. So I would probably do something like this because you want to have a portioner. The whole point of doing this automation is to have a portioner. So what's going to happen here is you put a, a pot anywhere on these conveyor belts, really. It's going to fill with water, come to the danger hub. Broccoli is going to be waiting for it. It's going to cook it. When the cooking is done, this is going to pull it here. Again, this here does not matter if it's facing this way or if it's facing this way. It just depends on if you have something here, this is going to pull it, right? Or if you have something here, depending on what it is, this will push into it. But since this is the pot, a pot won't push onto a prep station. And I'm just going to put the prep station here just to prove how many portions that broccoli has. So this is how I would set it up, say something like this. And you may say, well, why don't you just pull directly from the hob? And, and the thing is you can, but you're still going to be needing the same amount of conveyor belts or same amount of grabbers to pull back. Um, and depending on, but again, depending on your layout, if you have a more of a, of a longer, thinner layout than this more of a boxy shape, by all means do that. So let's go into practice mode and I will show you exactly how this works. I'm going to practice mode. I'm going to come up in here to zoom back in for you guys. So the broccoli obviously is waiting. So here's your pot. You can stick it anywhere you want and it'll cycle around. Actually, I'm going to do all three of these because like I said, broccoli only has a certain amount of portions. And it does take a bit of time to cook, but using the danger hub is quite quick. There's no mixing phase, and you put it here, and it's going to pull it out. And I'm just going to pull all these out just to show you what happens when you pick the fifth one up. And there you go. And it's going to continue on, continue on, continue on, and continue on. And there you go. And this way, if you're going through broccoli like crazy, say people are really into broccoli, but really wanting broccoli, this is a way to automate it to where... They're just going to cycle around. It's pretty straightforward. If you wanted to add one more layer to this, it'd be to automatically grab the pots. But this is only going to work if you are only having broccoli cooked. If you're having anything else cooked, it won't work. Now, you could have this here, and I'll show you exactly how this works. And again, you could portion into a prep station if you really wanted to. I don't know the reason why you would, except if you're trying to tuck this away. Say you're trying to tuck it up into this, this area here. You have a nice square. You want to tuck it away, and all you want to have sitting on the other side of the doorway is like a prep station. Then by all means, do this. And you could just use conveyor belts, and you can use grabbers just to kind of trail the, the, the broccoli along to where you want it to go. Say you want to go out this window. There you go. Or out this door, and there you go. So if you the next step of automating this would be, well, I'll show you. 
because of having the grabber configured the way it is, if you see where my, where my mouse is, having configured it this way instead of up and down, this will pull anything that's here. And because this is empty going in here, this smart grabber will kind of negate the fact that it's smart and it'll just cycle right around and cycle, all three of them will cycle around. And this would be your true automation. Again, you can put, you can put your, sorry, you can put your pot stack anywhere you want in this setup. And then, but you have to have a grabber pulling from it. I don't know how else this would be any better by having it over here. You could have a grabber this way. I don't know any, which any way would be better than this because you actually have a grabber here already uh, if you see where, I'm, where my mouse is. But nonetheless, let's go into practice mode and I'll show you the true automation. I'm going to come back into the room so it zooms in and there you go. So it will just cycle around, cycle around. I'm just going to stand here. I'm not going to do anything. And it's going to cycle all the way around, as you see. And there you go. All three pots are ready to go. It'll just cycle through like this. It'll come, it'll portion, and then I'm just gonna grab grab a few portions out of this, just so the other one's gonna go, and then there you go, it's gonna go, and it'll start portioning. And really, by the time these five are done, this one is ready to go, you know, um, and you can and you can pull rocket from it. And there you go, it's, pr it's a pretty straightforward setup. There be, there's no real way to make this go any quicker because you're limited basically by the cooking speed of the danger hob, which is the fastest thing in the game aside from an oven. But with an oven, you have to shut the door and open the door. Uh, a microwave for broccoli, I don't believe is any quicker than using a danger hob. For something like mashed potatoes, it would be, but then again, a microwave, you still have to shut the door. So this automation wouldn't work because you it's not automated in a sense because you have to shut the door manually there's no item in the game that will automatically shut or open doors and until there is you, you don't want to use a microwave or an oven for this setup but there you go it's pretty straightforward you could have it fully automated by having the pod stack here or you could have it semi-automated by having the pod stack here and you could just grab a pot and just stick it in here or again if this is really tucked away you could this doesn't need to be here this is just for demonstration purposes you could stick it right here as long as something along here is open that you can stick to you're fine with doing this oh, sorry otherwise to stick it along here it'd be really nice if you could put it in here but there's nothing that can grab it from in here so um and if you have it like that it won't work either because this will not it'll grab it here but it won't push it onto this uh, that's the only kind of issue i guess you'd have by sticking it in there uh, same thing with this. You can't do this because it'll it won't do it. If you have it like this, it's going to pull it up into the broccoli one, which again will not work. So it's a little bit of a hiccup, a little hindrance of sticking this out here. But like I said before, the easiest way is to just manually put these onto the hobs or to put them onto. You grab it, put it on here, grab it, put it on, grab it, put it on, and there you go. And then you have your three broccolis, which are 15 portions, well, five each times three is 15 that you have ready, all lined up, ready to go as you need it. So it's pretty straightforward. Alrighty, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. This has been a fun video to make. Broccoli is one of those sides that you don't have many portions to it anymore. Broccoli used to be eight um, months ago, depending on when you're watching this, back when the play test was still on. Broccoli used to have eight servings. Then it's been changed to five. Soups have three. Beans, I think, have four portions now or five portions. They used to have eight. So some things have been changed. Mashed potatoes still have, have 20. I wouldn't be surprised if that's changed at some point because the only really added thing of mashed potatoes is, is the fact that you have to actually mash them. So but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. And also in this playlist, please check out all my other automation videos and guides as well as the other getting getting back to the basics, or learning the basics, played up guys, etc., etc. And always I have played up content coming out every single day on this channel, as well as other games and new games coming out um, every day as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And if there's anything you'd want to see specifically that I haven't covered in any of my videos thus far, whether it be a guide, a tips and tricks, or some, some sort of automation, or some sort of crazy automation, if you have an idea in your head of how can you set blank up I'll try to do my best to set it up for you guys and make a video on it. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again, and I'll catch you in the next played up automation tutorial. Take care now.